Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has developed a deep-seated corn from teaching dancers for many hours a week. He recently had this burn and now he is here to have this removed. Let's see how I can remove this without absolutely no pain at all. The guy, he dances a lot where actually he teaches. Right, Justin? Right, he's right. <laughs> So he's on his feet constantly, but he hasn't felt much pain afterwards. So I'm hoping that this whole thing would come out because these, these corns are very deep and they are very difficult to get it out, but hopefully we got it out. So, but he's feeling pretty good. You don't have pain anymore, right? Nope. No okay. Pain. Yeah. So most likely the whole root has come out. So we're going to cut it out. As you can see, there's a little thing still there. So let me see if you can. Get this whole thing out. Uh, a lot of people ask, uh, some of the warts kind of look similar to these corns, but uh, corns are usually round and then the warts are like kind of an uneven surface, meaning they look like a, a United States map. It doesn't look like a straight round circle. So that's how we usually tell the difference between the wart and the corn. The, the thing is, the treatment is the same because these are very deep seated, both warts and the corn. So, either way, you either have to cut it out, which will get them to be off for like a month or so, which is not good, right? Because he has to keep teaching and dancing, right, Justin? That is right. So, who's got time to be off like that? So, when Nobody. we burn it like this, it's a lot less traumatic and a lot less um, time off. So, this is how we do it. Looks like it's worked out well for him. So, I'm getting a little bit deeper now, as you can see. But you had a little bit of pain after, or? Uh, third, we got this done Wednesday morning. On Thursday night was the worst, but it wasn't, it was manageable. I was still able to teach. Oh, really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, oh wow. Usually pretty hard to be it, on it, it for, hurt, for a few, few mean, days. Yeah, I was fine. You're just a tough guy. Tough guy. Yeah, he has to, <laughs> he, he abuses his feet quite a bit, so. Yes, I do. Little abuse is not a big deal for him, right? Yeah. You guys learn to be tough. But, yeah, dancers have high pain tolerance. Exactly, because you're, you're busy. <laughs> You're busy looking good, right? Right. So you can't worry about your feet too much. Mm -hmm. I see that. So you feel that? Or no. No. Nope. No. Okay. So it looks pretty good. I'm gonna try to go a little bit deeper because I don't want this coming back. If I, if I leave anything there, then it may come back. So you want to go as deep as I can without hurting him. So that's what I'm doing right now. Do you feel that or no? Not at all. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word Dancer's Corn in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to tease out that. So you feel okay, right? Not yeah, right? I don't feel a single thing. My feet are so calloused up. Yeah. So you can see that corn coming out now. That's the deeper part that was embedded, as you can see now. You can see that whole thing coming out in one piece. I'm going to show Justin. That's part of it, and there's a little bit more, so I need to get to. So how many hours are you teaching? Right now I'm at 25, no, 29. 29, 29 hours, a week? hours a week? Yeah. Wow, man, yeah. that's pretty. Yeah, that's a lot on your feet. Yeah, it is. Wow. And you teach all different kinds of... Yeah. Um, mostly competition style, so our teams um, compete as well. We actually just had a competition the last two weekends. Really? Yeah. What, what kind of dance competition? Uh, those were all mainly jazz <clears throat> and ballet. Um, really? And our teams did really well. We took home a bunch of first overalls in our category. Really? It was great, yeah. Wow. Yeah, we have a pretty Nice to have a good teacher, huh? Yeah, we have a good school. Wow. Ah. 
if you don't mind, you can plug in your studio. Yeah, Peninsula School of Performing Arts out in uh, Palos Verdes. Palos Verdes, so if you're nearby in Torrance, PV, Long Beach, then that's the place to go if you want to win competition. That's the place to go. So look, look for Justin, the, the master, <laughs> master teacher, because he makes you win competition. That's what you need, right? That's what we need. Yeah, yeah. So... There you have it. I think we got most of it out. I'm gonna just make sure that this doesn't come back. So I want you to keep the duct tape on for a little bit longer. Okay. Do you think like a week or how long? Uh, probably like a couple of weeks. Okay. And then I'm gonna just make sure everything's okay in a few weeks. And just one more time to make sure nothing's growing back. If anything's growing back, I need to kind of clean it out some. But as you can see now, you see the hole in there. The whole thing is, is out of there, so. It's looking really good. All right, so don't forget the Peninsula School of Performing Arts. That is, is correct, that? yeah. PSP. That, that's the place to go, that's the everybody. Place. That's it. <laughs> we need to win competition. So there you have it. Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, cutting the deep corn out surgically would take almost a month to heal. However, if I burn this and be able to remove this all at once, and this will only take a few days to improve this condition. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.